She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. That's right. Leave me out of that. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Holy shit, it's the Iron Throne. There's Tyrion. You can do this. Am I in control now? Yep. He got. Oh shit. Tyrion! Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, your grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I will speak truly, your grace. I should hope so. Speak falsely and it will be worse for you. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the Crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Says you. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Then he can buy I'm it from there me. There are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. And exceeded only by your lack of humility. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. 
raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most <laughs> dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. She's headstrong, isn't she? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I had no freaking idea what to say. Through that entire conversation to spin me around in circles. I'll walk you out. Every this single freaking start, decision is just met your father once. freaking mind fuck. Even then he didn't trust Ruth Fulton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be dangerous. It's a risk to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. I have to. I now, have to take that risk. Me, I, promise I have to save my house. We're fucked. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mira, I was worried. How was it? 
Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, Diggity. what? It's true. Jeez. And over Horny handmaidens. The Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Just Marjorie a tiny, tiny bit. Us. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Mm, nope. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? It was all her fault. I didn't do anything. Well... I tried to move them back, my lady. Oh shit, I blamed her. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. That's right. But they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, that was brutal. King's landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. I tried. It has been something on my mind. I really, really it's did. Important. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. 